I think the greatest risk with people not using chiropractic, honestly, I think we're already seeing it. You've got over 400,000 kids under the age of 12 on antidepressants. You've got kids that are suffering in school. You've got suicide being cool. And all the while their posture is, is weakening. We see more kids with low tone, more lower spinal tone, decreased movement in the spine. And we're seeing it in increased numbers in autism and all of those things. Now don't get me wrong, a lot of those things are multifactorial, but it starts with brain health. And brain health starts with spinal movement and starts with good posture. If nothing changes in this world and people keep living this reactive life where they start waiting for pain to show up before they see a chiropractor, they wait until they have heart disease before they start eating better. They wait until they have diabetes before they get off of sugar. We're gonna keep going the whole faster. Being in my mid thirties, I'm seeing a lot of people in today's world who are my age who look and act like they're in their 50s and 60s because of the poor quality decisions that they made for their health when they were younger. And if that keeps happening with excess uses of technology, terrible diet patterns, lack of exercise, poor sleep habits, it's just gonna get worse. And this society that we live in is gonna be more unsafe as the years go on of kids on more medicine, kids on more antidepressants, and more issues that you see in the news, you're gonna start seeing more of those situations show up. And that's not the world that I'm willing to live in and the world I'm, letting, I'm allowing my kids to grow up in. So if you're a crisis motivated person and you're waiting for the bomb to drop on your life, I'm gonna give you an advance notice bomb. Go visit some nursing homes, drive around your community and drive into some assisted living centers and drive into some nursing homes and walk in and smell the smells. Look at the people, these beautiful people who are trapped in these bodies who maybe all along, they were doing things that were not good for them, killing themselves, drugging themselves, medicating themselves, eating unhealthy foods, not doing the things that were good for them, and now they're trapped. This is your destiny if you're waiting for a crisis.